out that transition from of course creative to now being a senator and i don't want to say transition because it means like you've left being a creative behind mm-hmm. but w- what was that shift like for you very briefly very difficult i will not recommend it to anyone <laughs> mm-hmm. uh to just go in sort of like eyes wide shut like i did yeah. but um interesting because the first time i walked into senate and i was doing my maiden speech lots of people were sort of like waiting for me to speak because i had not spoken for so many days i was scared mm-hmm. i was like i'm in the midst of Shots. you know correct <laughs> 20 30 year you know politicians mm-hmm. you know the the best of the best etc and i'm just there like oh my legs kind of thing <laughs> but um, when i finally did my maiden speech and i find courage lots of uh senators everyone actually the whole uh, chamber went silent and i was like oh my gosh is anyone here hello hello <laughs> hello but um i then found out that it's because they were so impressed with what i was saying how i i was articulating myself the issues i was bringing to the table the mandate and uh the agenda that i have uh sort of in store for kenyans in my in my seat and since then i i've i've got the respect of them mm-hmm. which is good especially especially the uh the Older well, men, no, yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, which is good. Any so. any young woman in a space like that knows you have to assert your. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's a tumcha. They think you know, ah, she's just here to you mm-hmm. know represent this group, or she's just here, na 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 na, yes. like that, isn't it? They just thought that I was like, oh, that's sweet, a girl. Oh, yeah. that's oh. nice. <laughs> oh, how's how lovely? Yeah, <laughs> join up, us. Up kind until of you decided to come up with very serious suggestions and bills, some that you're sponsoring, and of course, just uh, looking at uh, one of them that is really, really personal to me is the startup bill. Mm. Uh, but of course, you uh, you have the uh, Persons with Disability Bill, the Kenya Sign Language Bill, uh, Learners with Disability Bill, and of course, there's one, uh, yeah, Learners with Disability Bill. That was, that was the one that you sponsored right. uh, in 2023. Yes. Can you talk to us about uh, why you're so passionate about uh, people with disability? That is one. And of course, there is something that we often ignore, and I believe that we should have put it uh, in our constitution maybe even in 1963 the kenya sign language bill mm-hmm. this one mm. should have done been done uh way way years before talk to us about why you're so passionate about uh persons with disability in particular well because i've been able to live on both sides of this coin i've been able to live as a non-disabled person and now as a disabled person so i have a perspective that is quite unique and also um being in this position means that I'm able to at least do my best to tilt the lens on uh, matters disability in this country. Um, I think that my voice is different from those who have come before me, although I am, of course, standing on their shoulders and the work that they've been able to do. Mm -hmm. But because of the intersectionality of being young, of being uh, a person with disability, of being a woman, and also being the first and only senator with a visual impairment Mm -hmm. in the the history of Kenya, Right. Um, crazy. I think mm-hmm. that I'm able to bring something that uh, maybe has not been seen before. And I just want people, like I said at the top of this conversation, to be seen and to be heard. That's the most important thing. People need to feel like I'm part of the society. I am recognized in the society. I am accounted for in the society and, and people are including me. Right. It's about it's about equity for me. And I know what it feels like to be non-disabled everyone to see you and accept you and then to be disabled when all of a sudden you're just you know put in a corner somewhere and labeled as Mm -hmm. you know other kind of thing so it's a personal thing i have a chip on my shoulder kind (laughs) of but also it's because it the cause is bigger than i am and i want to be able to live a life which has purpose and meaning so Mm -hmm. looking through